Hey, what's going on guys? My name's a friend and I just want to quickly say that currently I am still not fully back. I will start full-time YouTube again in approximately one or two weeks. And I guess then I will also provide a little bit more info. But now let's get into this video because I completely missed this poll, by the way. This was apparently 90% percent of people voted yes to this poll and this is really perfect because apparently this is a medium level dungeon because if you scroll right here there is a new boss that is made for players around level 100 combat and my combat level is 101 oh no i eventually turned into one of them look at this this is gonna be my gear that i will be using i have a region bracelet i'm unironically wearing an obby cape because i have nothing better i have no legends cape no fire cape no mage arena cape this account was just nightmare zone product i just put it there completed a bunch of quests and i was playing on my hardcore iron man from time to time now i haven't been in the dungeon yet so for me it's going to be a new experience but i know that to get there you have to teleport to zedix glade i think this is the fastest method unless there is somewhere a house portal which i can't really find it anymore i think i thought it used to be here somewhere but it seems they changed how city is quite a bit since then and as you can see it's very close by because if you teleport with zedix necklace it's just right here and as i'm walking here there is another dungeon so i'm gonna try to climb that one down i'm wondering if this is like a quicker exit or entrance and it does seem yeah these are the temple spiders these are the new additions to that Look at this guy it seems like okay these guys are aggressive and it's multi-zone this may be like a really nice place for people to train do they drop anything or is it just gonna be like melee training they don't also seem to poison you at all because i've been taking so many hits and some of them hit me and it seems like i don't need su super anti-poison so i'm wondering what would be the drop table of these guys all right i switched my gear a little bit so i can last a little bit longer because i didn't know what to expect and now i think i'm gonna do on each new monster because i think they added like four new monsters i want to test out for like 30 minutes the drop table and this is with a medium level account and look at that there's five law runes this a hey, i don't know where iron man get law runes nowadays maybe this is a very good method probably there are some safe spots somewhere you can just safe spot a spider or two and there's like you know even pure money I okay so now it's been half an hour since i've been doing this and these are the xp rates this is again level 100 combat with only 80 stats and i'm getting 60k an hour which i literally have no idea if this is a lot compared to something like nightmare zone seems like a decent xp rate really because i was using potions only no piety because i can't even activate it and this is the loot that i got 102 kills I would say nothing too impressive, I guess. Just runes are the main ones. And if you pick up like Addy Swords, these are going to add up eventually, I guess. But yeah, I just checked Wiki also and there is nothing unique that they can drop except for these pages and the key. Let me add this to the item list in Runelight and take a look at this. Bam. These are all the red spider eggs, which is way better than Wilderness. All right, now let's go deeper in the dungeon and try to kill these undead druids i'm wondering if these guys gonna drop like herbs and stuff because you know druids usually are associated with like uh good herb drops but these are quite high level and they seem to be using mage as well so i'm gonna be using mage armor against them and let's see if these are good or not now i did get a few herb drops so far but these guys also drop mud runes which is useful for that one rune crafting quest which otherwise you have to go to the mage training arenas look at this 15 minutes and I already banged twice. These guys are hitting so hard and especially with magic. Okay, so I killed druids the same amount of time as I did temple spiders and this is the total loot. So 124k, it's not that much. I think it's actually the same amount of loot that you get because of how much food you have to waste on these druids. But there are some interesting drops in here like white berries. 45 in half an hour i don't know if i got lucky or not but that seems like a pretty big amount and then there is 12 potato cacti but if you do camp in this place for combat stats hey what do you know maybe eventually you'll have like 8,000 white berries as an iron man now let's get to the final creature that they added which is the spider boss and let me tell you the first day was like impossible to kill that thing it was so many people like six people in every single world and usually i'm fine with that you know a new boss comes out obviously a lot of people want to try to get something new you know sell it real expensive especially the first day but this was made for medium level players those low level combats are trying to get some kills but it's literally impossible it's just you can't you can't compete with that i had to bring range and try to get some 
Lucky Ruby Bolt Specs, which I think they hit like 78 at max HP. Well, it turns out that didn't work out because people are just using claws and, you know, they just max combat. So I had to wait an extra day, that's why this video is delayed, and the boss is actually very simple. This was made for people to be introduced into bossing, so nothing really too special mechanics are also very easy sometimes it will entangle you and i don't think there is any way to escape that even if you click like fast enough on the ground i, I don't think it's affected by that it stays for around three seconds and you should be playing range during the time and then once you get unentangled you just go back to melee and eventually it will spawn like these little spiders that will deal damage to you but you don't have to worry about them like you don't have to kill them or anything so that that's all basically melee and range prayer which you should probably swap because i think i got hit for like 27 or something and right now you can see the loot that i got from this boss i killed 40 of them but i have no idea how long it took me to do because of all the hopping and i did it during the two days so i'm just looking okay one mil made from 40 kills it's like if you look at the loot it doesn't seem that most of these items would go down in price and this is without getting any unique drops at all when thinking what could be good for iron man cosmic runes is what i wanted to say but if you're level 100 you probably have enough from either mage arena or sudoku puzzle or maybe they added something else now unfortunately i couldn't get any big drops from this boss and i just want to try to buy uh i'm probably gonna test all of them but this one is really interesting because it's a giant egg sack which is full i hope this is gonna sell for a medium price okay so spend 97k for 10 of these i want to see if i can get my money back because if you open these oh you can actually check how many eggs in there there's 100 eggs oh that's it, it, it seems like all of them have the same amount at least if you buy them from grand exchange oh they're not even noted okay well, you can empty like this. I think it's going to go to your bank. Okay, okay, that's easy. Wait, do I have any red spider eggs? Did I pick any? Maybe for a herbivore, actually. Yeah, I could have had 25. Wait, let's see. If I do empty now, yeah, it just adds up 100, it seems, from every sack. Okay, spend 97k on these. Did I get my money back? Oh, actually, it's 99k. Okay, wait, if I... Can I sell these? Because I feel like a lot of people are just flushing the Grand Exchange with this thing. So I think they have uh, crashed since then, maybe a little bit. Can I even sell for like... Nope. You see that? No one's buying. Wait, 76 maybe? I... Oh, I did sell. Okay, so you do lose money, but I don't know. Maybe I was impatient. I guess it's good for Ironman, but I didn't manage to get any of them. Even though it says on Wiki, it's a common drop. This is another item that I can get from the boss. I'm wondering what the price is. I'm gonna go for... Actually, I think it's just... Me is it medium price? Can... Nah, because you can see probably they set at 1 million and now it's a little bit above that. Well, God damn it, don't tell me I have to spend like 10 million. I just want to I wanna see the price now. If you farm today the boss, the drop would be worth, oh, 3.5 million. Whoa, hey, people still remember me? Wow, that's... <laughs> Uh, anyway, this is how the new weapon looks like. I want to try it out on the spiders since I already know the XP rates that I was getting with Abyssal Whip, which is level 70 weapon, and this one is level 65. Now it's been 10 minutes since I've been testing this weapon. I just wanted to get a general feel of it. As you can see, it's the same attack speed as a Dragon Scimitar and an Abyssal Whip, and really, there is nothing complicated about this weapon. It's not degradable. Finally, something that is not degradable. It has 65 attack requirement, which pretty much means it's better than a Dragon Scimitar, which is, by the way, this one is buyable. Yeah, so uh, if everyone's using Dragon Scimitars and you don't want to use that because of quest requirements of like in, on a new account or something, you can just use this one. And I think it's better than Whip because it doesn't share. You see, it's uh, oh, this one is shared, but this one is strength, attack, and defense XP. So if you want to have something upgraded, maybe Sada Sword is not the only option now. There is something else. And of course, I don't have to mention it's slightly worse than an Abyssal Whip. So I think the price of this weapon will be fairly good. I'm guessing it's fairly close to Sada Sword, but it should be slightly better because of the Defender that you can take. All right, guys, that's going to be all for this video. I know that I got some keys and I got these uh, pages, but these pages are just experience. And these keys I would love to test out, but you need some kind of level of thieving. And I'm 14, so I want to upload this video today. I don't want to wait anymore. 
Currently, I'm still in the Netherlands, and I'm going to stay here for another two weeks or so. Could be actually one week, but some, somewhere very soon, I will be coming back, and then the video should resume as normal. God damn it. This was not a vacation. <laughs> Let me tell you, this was not a vacation. I don't feel rested. I feel like triple not rested. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you in approximately two weeks. Bye.